Welcome to the Red Dice Diaries. This podcast is a rambling journey through the wonderful world of RPGs from the viewpoint of a long-time GM and player. The music at the start of this podcast was Nightmare by Alexander Nakarada and is used under Creative Commons license. Hi, it's John from Red Dice Diaries here, and I'm just going to talk in this episode about a trend that I've noticed in a fair few role-playing games that I've read recently, and that is the trend for there to be a lot of fluff or extraneous material before you actually get to the game proper in a game book. And now when I say fluff, I'm not talking about judicious use of game fiction or art or anything like that. I'm talking about games where the author spends four, five, even up to I've seen sort of like 43 is probably the worst offender I've seen, pages basically telling you how cool their game is. Now, I don't know about you guys out there, but if I've already purchased a game, then I've probably already read reviews on it, I've heard other people tell me about it, I think I'm in a pretty good place to determine how cool or not I think a game is by myself. So having 40 odd pages, or albeit normally a bit less, but a number of pages telling me how cool the author thinks it is, doesn't really sway me in either case. And in a lot of newer games, these extraneous pages are beautifully illustrated. They have a very sharp graphical style to them. They look, for all intents and purposes, like pieces of art. And that's great. But if you think about a lot of the more sort of high-end modern RPG books, they're not exactly cheap. And that's fair enough because a lot of work goes into them. Artwork isn't cheap, getting editors isn't cheap, laying out all of this stuff isn't cheap. However, one thing I am certain of, even though I don't have the exact prices for producing various role-play books to hand, is that adding an extra 43 pages of extraneous artwork and fluff certainly isn't going to make the book any cheaper and to my mind aside from getting a brief oh that that looks cool it doesn't really endear me to the product any better and in fact after looking at all these extra pages for the first few times i'll probably just skip them and get straight to the game because after all that's what i'm interested in that's what i've purchased the role play book for because i actually am interested in the game I want to determine for myself whether I like it or not and just crack on with actually playing it. I don't spend days sat there pouring through pages which just have pictures or like the odd atmospheric word or quote on them thinking, oh my God, that's improved my appreciation of the setting or made me think that the game's somehow cooler. And yes, I suppose you might say that they can help create the mood of the game, but I think that some of the best roleplay books I've read are those which skillfully do that within their mechanics and the writing inside the actual game. We don't need a massive prologue at the start of the game saying, oh, wait until you get to the rest of the book. Oh, it's going to be so cool. Wait until you get, oh, you won't believe how cool it's going to be when you get to the rest of the book. And that's just how these extra bits come off to me. So I think if I was going to give one piece of advice, and I'll admit that I'm not exactly a massively well-regarded or high production value author. I've done at most a few PDFs, most of which were sort of self-edited and self-laid out. But I I like to think they were reasonably competent. So if I was going to give a piece of advice to people making a book, it would be don't insist on keep telling us how cool your game is going to be and don't waste pages just trying to set up that mood or tease us with how cool it's going to be actually show us by getting straight to the core of your game and showing us what's new what's innovative hell even if it's not innovative just show us what's skillfully done about your game and how it's going to help us create an enjoyable experience at the roleplay table. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're all there for. We don't sit at a roleplay table wanting to be wowed by graphics and carried away by some indefinable mood. We all sit there because we want to have fun, we want to get something out of it, we want to enjoy playing the game. So, there we go, that's my ramble about 
extraneous pages bumping the cost of role play books going up and as anyone who knows me will tell you i'm quite tight with my money so i'd rather have 40 less pages of bump and have a cheaper book that shows me how cool the system is rather than just trying to tease me for ages and then probably in fact pissing me off before we get to the actual game itself so whatever game you're playing out there i hope you're enjoying it take care and i'll catch you soon